Hi, I'm Madeline Stroth for TheCheckingLine.com, standing around today with Brandon Perry and Jeremy Morin, who are kind enough to have an interview with us, be patient with me today. So, Brandon, our leading point scorer for the Rockford Ice Hawks this year, what do you think has changed about your play over this past two years to let you play to this level for your team? I mean, this is my third year, and uh, you know, just getting more comfortable with the league, having confidence in myself. You know, it's uh, it's been a progression coming in as a 19-year-old uh, last year, but also the teammates have been stepping up too. You know, it's uh, you know when I have success, they have success. So it's a uh, it's a team thing. We're playing well as a team, and you know, it's uh, it's fortunate we have a lot of good goal scorers on this team, and it's just my job fun. So Jeremy, leading goal scorer, and you made a huge leap from last year to this. You're actually 10 goals in front of uh, where you ended last year. What has changed about your play, or just allowed you to step up in this big way for? Well, I've been, uh, you know, putting a lot of different positions that I was last year with, uh, you know, power play and be a lot more ice time and, and just feel more comfortable in the league. And I think that's huge. You know, I'm obviously playing with some pretty good players, and they like to find me and. And uh, so you know, I'm just the beneficiary of a lot of those passes, and uh, so I can't complain. Uh, so good. Awesome. And I got to bring up uh, that Detroit game that you came in for the Blackhawks. You know, scoring first for the Blackhawks in that great game. Uh, how'd that feel? And like coming away from that, what is it like to bring that back to get Rockford here? Oh, it's obviously exciting to, to be up there and to be able to contribute a little bit. And it was especially fun to uh, be in my first shift, which was uh, it was a lot of fun. And obviously, you got to try to take that play down here and you know, keep it and just try to uh, you know, keep producing here because we, we need the points right now and we're trying to make a late play. Let's kind of to both of you guys now. Um, what have been the memorable games for your team this year, both individually or you know, those standout moments for you? Uh, we had a game at Chicago at home a while ago. I think we were down 4-3 uh, or 4-2 going to the third and uh, we just seemed to collect something on the team, uh, we got that confidence, that swagger we, uh, we look for in every game. And uh, with around 10 minutes left, we plotted two in a row. And then uh, I, we were just rolling, and uh, Coach Teddy uh, threw both of us out there actually with two minutes left on the PK. And that, that rarely happens. And uh, you know, we caught a lucky break, me and him on two on one, and I, I hit him, and he scored a nice goal. So, you know, that's always a good feeling to beat our rivals in a tight game like that and come back. Uh, beginning of this year, um, you had a lot more uh, players on your roster who are now with the Blackhawks. What was it like in January? Uh, you had that big roster change. Who really stepped up uh, besides your team? On the team, do you think this year after you had those uh, players return to the Blackhawks? I think we had a lot of obviously roster changes, and it's uh, kind of given an opportunity for guys to step up. And I think you guys have done a great job. We've been kind of rolling here the last two months, and uh, so I mean, there's uh, a bunch of guys. I mean, Jimmy Hayes is uh, you know, had a bigger role lately for us, and he's been playing really, really good hockey. And obviously, CPR has been consistent all year. So, and then you know, Ole Ash coming up here and just hopping right in the lineup and producing at a, at a really steady pace has been, been nice for our team. Speaking of Ole, how do you think uh, more veteran players uh, have affected this team's maturity and just evolved in this year? Absolutely. Having him and Monty now has been uh, huge. You know, they're uh, NHL caliber players. And, you know, they bring that uh, that confidence that you know younger teams don't have. That maybe we lost here and there during a long season. But you know, they're coming down. You know, we have those guys that uh, have the capability of taking control over a game and uh, you know settling the younger guys down. One that needs to be there. So it's just a matter of uh, you know everyone sticking with it, looking towards the leaders when uh, we need that uh, extra push. But at the same time, it's been team effort and uh, you know to the from there. Are there players, you know, veteran, or, you know, new players in the league around you know, AHL, NHL, Blackhawks specifically, maybe that you guys feel you can maybe model yourselves after players you respect? see his mentors at all? Well, I think we get to watch the Blackhawks a lot, so obviously we try to you know, watch their games and pick up on things that you know they do up there that makes them successful, and we try to bring it to our game a little bit. We all try to take you know little bits and pieces of, of uh, a lot of players up there that we try to translate in our game, and, uh, and I can't really think of players individually. That obviously, there's a lot of good players up there, so we you know, just try to nitpick some, some good stuff that they each do and try to uh, in our game. There's been a pretty steady core of players here for the Rockford Ice Hawks the past couple of years for you guys. How do you think that's helped to improve your team chemistry and just you know, help you guys be more successful? 
Yeah, you know, there's uh, it's been our third year in the league, and there's been probably six or seven guys that have been here that whole time with us. And you know, it's we all want to make that jump to the NHL, but you know, we, they want to see us win in Rockford first. And we're, we're, we've been having good years, but uh, you know, it's time for us to take advantage. We're not really in the same league anymore, and uh, we got to prove that uh, we can play in this league, and then when we get the opportunity in the NHL, play there. Coming into this, you know, very crucial time here with this playoff push, you know, being so close um, in the standings right now. What do you guys need to focus on in these next coming games where it's pretty critical to get that win? We just have to, you know, bring it up tonight. I think that, you know, last game we kind of had a little, a little dud there. But I think we have four games left, and that's all we can focus on is just playing good hockey the way we've been playing the last two months. And just try to keep it simple out there. It's, it's almost like it's already playoffs for, uh, in this league. It's been, it's been like that for a little bit. So we just, you know, play our game and, and uh, you know, keep it simple. But, uh, you know, try to outwork them and just uh, at the end of the day come out with a win. Getting down now to the end, here we get a little bit more fun. So, you guys are all pretty active on Twitter and social media. Who do you think is the funny guy on the team on Twitter? Or maybe thinks he's the funny guy? Probably him. He, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, some guys play the role as, like, tweet about hockey stuff and tweet about the guys. He tweets about stuff completely off the board that you probably yeah, just yeah. people have no idea what's going on or what he's doing in their day. But... You know, I've lived with them the past couple of years, I see what goes through his head, so it makes sense to me, but probably everyone else has no idea what's going on. So you guys have fun, uh, I kind of mentioned, but on Twitter, just interacting with the fans, you guys are just a lot more active than a lot of other teams, do you think, you know, that brings the fans in in a, in a different way? Yeah, for sure, I think that, you know, those the fans being able to, you know, contact us directly, us being able to see and, you know, answer it back through the kind of questions or the comments or stuff like that is, is great. And I think that uh, Twitter is a, is a you know, great way of doing that. Yeah. Um, what's your guys' pump-up song? In the locker room or just individually? I don't know. It's a tough one. We have a lot of them. We, uh, there's a one that if people listen to, they'll be like, yeah. are you guys serious? But uh, it's the same guys that do that Harlem Shake song. They have another song called Yow. This is before we go out on the ice. And it, you know, the, the new guys that come to the locker room, that just come to the team, they hear it and they're like, that's terrible. But for some reason it's worked, it's like this whole streak, so uh, we're just going to keep it going. You guys got dancers on the team in the locker room? Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of dancers. I mean, I like to dance, but he, he dances, he does a little booty pop every once in a while. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you you got to know him to understand it. So, so he's the best dancer on the team. Or he, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, who's the practical joker amongst you guys? Uh, you know, we got a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, probably Mo again. He uh, he really uh, likes to attack on the like, younger guys, so it's it's fun to see. You know, it's as we're the vets on the team as 21 year olds, so it doesn't happen very often. But uh, you know, guys like Clendo, they uh, he, he takes it a lot, but he's a good sport, so it's fun. Who's the best practical joke you've seen? It wasn't me, but for a couple weeks in a row, I've been, they were freezing Clendenning's boxers, so he had me boxing when he came off. So that, that was the best one I've seen. It was pretty consistent, and I thought of Clendenning didn't find out he was doing it. So. We get uh, we get we got Mo back too, though. We filled the shoes with uh, concrete, yeah. and uh, he didn't figure it out for a while. And then when he finally picked them up, it wasn't too big. Trash can. Great. All right, so finally, guys, it is Fan Appreciation Night uh, tonight. Uh, what do you think makes this night special for your team, but also for the fans? You know, it's uh, you know, you know, as I said, our goal is to be in the uh, NHL play with the Blackhawks. But uh, you know, we've we've enjoyed our time here in Rockford. The fans have been great to us. The city's been great to us, and you know, uh, we just want to end it the way, end it on a good note, and that's what we'll win and uh, give the fans what they deserve. Thank you so much, guys. So, for the uh, checkinline.com, I am Madeline Straw. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. Thank you.